So in this micro station, now we will see how to use these options. So this is like a modification tools. So for that, I'm just going to draw some lines. Okay, so now I will try to copy this line from here to here. So just to go here, click copy and it is asking for first point, select the first point and select the second point and then escape one. Now again, I'm just trying to copy this one. So now we can use shortcut three in the keyboard and then one in the keyboard. So first point and then second point. So escape one. Okay, now we seen the tool copy, how to copy the elements we have seen. Now we will try to move this uh, line. So I'm just going for three. So select here, move first point and then second point. Now we can able to see how we moved that line from that point to the midpoint. Now again, I'm just going to copy this from here to here. Okay. So next we have scale option. So scale in the sense, we can able to scale this to 0.5 and then like it is like a locked. So that's why X and Y it's similar. If you want to put more values for different uh, directions, then you can remove it. So first we will try with the both same value and here it is like about element center. So which means, so otherwise we will take this one and uh, I will try to put 10 and then 10. So now I will try to scale it. So just to go for scale and uh, I'm putting element center and 0.5. So we can able to see like uh, it reduced to half scale. And if you want to make it to bigger, like uh, you can make it to 2, then you can. So it will become the older size. So like this, you can able to have a scale and if you want to copy, you can copy. For example, I'm just going for a 0.75 and now I copied. If I am just going for 2 and then if I am just going for a 0.5, then we will be having, see, two copies. So like this, we can able to scale. So where you have element center and copy option. So you also have a three point method. So I'm just going for proportional. So it is asking for origin point, origin point, and then it is asking for reference point, enter point to define the amount of scaling. So based on that, we can able to scale. So like this. So I'm just putting some value. So we have scaled it. So that is like a proportional. Again, element center. So like this, we can able to just uh, scale based on the element center. So again, if you are just going for copy and I'm just going for two and I'm just uh, going to origin point. So the reference point and then I'm just copy. Now we can able to see we got uh, some copies. So these options we have on a scale. Now if I am just going for a 0.75 and here I am just putting 2 and I am just now we can able to see how we have scaled in x direction 0.75 y direction 2 so like that also we can able to scale if you want to delete you can click 8 in the keyboard that is shortcut for delete 8 now again I am just going for now select this and then I am just going for rotate. So rotate, we have active angle about element center or copy the same options, but you can able to put 45 degree like that. So, so now we have rotated to 45 degree. So you can put element center, then it will be there itself. So this is like rotated to 45 degree. So I just undo Ctrl Z. 
Now I'm just going for 90 degree and I'm just going for copy. Now you can able to see like uh, we have one copy and we have rotated to 90 degree. So we have mirror option. So just to select everything about element center or you can just go for vertical horizontal line option. So line option I'm just going to take and then make copy. So I'm just drawing a line. So based on the line we are getting the copy. So it is like a mirror, mirror with copy option. Now again I'm just going for a mirror. Now I'm just going for a vertical. So I'm just selecting it, going for mirror and uh, I'm just going for removing make copy and I'm just going for horizontal and I'm just going to mirror about element center or you can remove that. See now you can able to see it is like a going only vertical because we have chosen horizontal right. So select go for a mirror make copy and you can able to copy like this. Now we will just go for mirror. So I am just going for a vertical. So we can able to see vertically we can able to mirror. So like this we have a horizontal, vertical and line option in mirror. So click 8 to delete the objects. So now we also have a array option. So for array option I am just going to draw like this. And again I am just going to select. Go for array. And here we have rectangular, polar and path array. First we will try with the rectangular array. In active angle and then rows and column everything. It is asking for reference point. So reference point. So it is coming inside only. So then we need to put the spacing. So spacing I am putting 10. So 10. So we can able to see like how we got the array. So escape one to accept. Click on escape one. Now we have done. Now if you want to array again, just to go for array. And then it is asking for reference point, reference point. And I am just going to put a 20. And then 20. And here I am just going for 4 cross 4. So it is like a going this way. So now we have done 4 cross 4 array. Now we will try with the polar array. Array and then polar items 4. And then it is asking for reference point. So reference point I am just going to choose somewhere outside so it is just going like this otherwise we can just go for array polar reference point I am just choosing this so based on that we are getting otherwise we will have one circle and we will have one line so we will try to array this go for array and then polar it is asking for reference point so if i'm putting here so we are getting four kinds of lines so like that you can able to do otherwise i'm just going for array and polar to take items now we will see how it will be now this could be perfect so in that case you need to put rotate Now we will see like a uh, path array. So I am just going to uh, reduce the scale 3 and then 3 and I am just going to lock it, lock it and then uh, this one again escape. Now we will see select shortcut 3 and then uh, 6 and now I am just going for selecting along path and number distance both. So I am putting number and I am putting 10 and it is asking for reference point reference point and like this you can able to just have so so escape one so like this you can able to accept or you can just try to move it move from here to here now you can just go for array along path reference point from here and here I think it's not getting so we can try again array 
in, it is asking for reference point, reference point, and from here again, so two times only to click there itself, and then you can just uh, accept escape one so that we will be getting. Otherwise, the same we can go for some other option. So go for number, not distance. So distance, I am just going for reference point and a reference point. So only to the particular distance you can place. For example, here I am just going to put 50. So only for the 50, it is coming as 7. So select 50 distance. So if I am putting only 30, it is asking for reference point. So select, so reference point, identify path element, so start point, so I am just going like this, so it is taking in between distance as 30, so the distance between two objects, so we will try to measure it. So it is like a 30, right? That's why. So again, I'm just going for uh, both. So I'm just going for 100 or uh, 14,000. So number of copies 10. So reference point and then path first point and then the second point. So not came, we will try again. Select array copies and then I'm putting more, right? But we will try 100. And uh, it is asking for reference point path first point. See now it is coming. So click outside escape one so that we can able to array like this. So now we have seen all this option until array. We will see align elements by edge, stretch, move, parallel, move to contact later.